Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for being here for your installment. Um, your next lover, so we'll see what kind of person is coming up um, that's going to be interested in you, what we can learn about them as well, um, personality, features, etc. So, um, I have laid out some cards here for you, and we're going to go one by one with an overall card as well. Um, as the overall kind of energy that's sort of governing this person. So um, if you were after a private reading with me um, to see who's coming in for you personally, please feel free to email me. Um, you'll find my email below or on the homepage on my YouTube channel. If you'd like access to bonus readings and extended readings, feel free to sign up for membership on the channel. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, I've had a mental blank. Uh, if you enjoy this content, feel free to leave a like, share, or subscribe. Um, that would be very much appreciated. So I just want to say thank you for all your support, Air Signs. Okay, let's jump into this reading. The overall energy that came up for you was the Nine of Cups, and this is about a wish card. Uh, the Nine can also speak about an ending here. So for a lot of you Air Signs... Um, you've got someone coming in at a time when you're ending a certain cycle. So for some of you, it's like you're closing off a chapter uh, and then this person is going to come up into your life. So for a lot of you, if you're just coming out of a breakup, um, you've relocated, uh, you've completed a project, you're sort of wrapping something up in your life and then this person is going to come up and, and, and really surprise you here. So I think that's, you know, that's saying a lot here, but most importantly, that nine of cups is like the wish card. It's the dream card. So air signs, you've got someone coming in that you've been sort of wishing or hoping for. Um, I feel like emotionally, um, this person is going to be able to fulfill you in a lot of ways here as well, but they're going to tick a lot of boxes here. Okay. So you've probably got a list like, okay, um, air signs, maybe you want someone who is loving and kind and attractive. Um, you know, someone that, uh, dotes on you, someone who is, um, proud to be with you, someone who likes to show you off, you know, whatever sort of checklist you have, um, it's gonna, it's really gonna resonate with you. So I feel like you've got a massive wish or like this person is coming in to fulfill your wishes and hopes and dreams. Um, and because it's cups, it can be someone who's under a water sign. So a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Um, now, water signs can be very, very emotional. And um, there's a lot of compatibility here with water and air um, in a sense where, you know, you're more logic and you're more mentality. And then uh, this person is going to be more emotional. So I feel like there could be strong um, compatibility here with that nine of cups. So that's a beautiful starting off point. But look out for those sort of any sort of endings in your life because that could bring about this person. Um, OK, the first card you have is the moon. OK, so straight away it tells me that for some of you, this person could be from the past. Now, the moon can speak of someone who may be under the sign of a cancer. So some of you may be um, hooking up with a cancer or um, having this person come into your life. The moon is also this subconscious intuitive energy, so I feel like this person has a personality where they're very empathetic. Uh, they're in tune with your emotion, with their emotions, um, and I feel like they're going to express that. They could also be very creative, so they might have their own thing going on. Maybe they're in photography, maybe they like art, writing, maybe they do something on the side here. Something about the water with the moon, so it could be like they enjoy being on the water. Um, uh, maybe they go surfing, maybe they enjoy swimming, water activities, um, maybe they live by the water here. Uh, the moon is also uh, the mother, so they could have a very good relationship with their mother or they have a lot of feminine energy, like they have a lot of sisters, uh, what else, they... Um, they they have this feminine presence about them, they could be in touch with their feminine side here as well, so... Um, but it can be the past. Most importantly, it's like the past. So I feel like for a lot of you, this person in some ways is familiar to you. So you may have been with them before, um, air signs. You guys may have hooked up before. Um, with a tower card, I feel like when you meet, this person is going to sort of be going through something. Now, it could be with their health. There may be some drama around them. You know, maybe they've got some family drama. They have a history of trauma or abuse. Um, it could be that they are like they're coming out of a devastating or a chaotic relationship. Maybe they've recently been hit by that tower card. So you may notice 
a point of their life is sort of a bit messy or a bit a bit chaotic here um, and I feel like they may be dealing with some stuff so it can be a little bit turbulent because you'll find that maybe this person's a bit distracted uh, distracted with what's um, what's going on uh, in other aspects um, of their life maybe with that tower card um, but strong fire energy so I feel like you guys may hook up really quickly there's a really strong attraction here and potentially this could for some of you you know you might be getting you know you might be crazy about each other and you really just want to rip each other's clothes off um, it can be like an unplanned pregnancy or like a physical relationship that starts first okay and I did say pregnancy because the 10 of pentacles is here, which rules like family and children. Um, so for some of you, you may fall pregnant or get them pregnant very quickly after you meet. Um, I'm also seeing that there is going to be like a family approval or friends approval. So you might meet their friends and fam super quick and you'll really hit it off. You'll get on with them. You'll get their blessing. You'll get their approval. So um, it, it points to someone who is a family person. They're a family man or a family gal. And, you know, that tradition is really important to them. It could be that they are looking to settle down or they have children uh, from a previous connection. Um, but I feel like you've got someone very homely and very sweet who wants to sort of settle down. And, you know, that's going to mean something different for different people. For some of you, it's going to be that this person wants to have children or they want to remarry or they want to find a mother or father figure for their children. Like... This person is all about the home. Um, for some of you, this person could also work from home, like remotely, or maybe they're building up their own business. They may be generating income um, from the comfort of their own home. So you do have someone who's quite ambitious here. Um, and that's very attractive to us air signs. Okay, we love ambition. We love someone who can look after us, someone who strives to be the best version of themselves. And you're going to be really drawn to that, especially going to be drawn to like when you see them. Like, you know, you're going to be crushing on them. And like, if you don't have kids and you want kids, you know, you're going to see them with their like nephews or nieces or, or little cousins. And like for the females out there, you know, you'll, you'll, you know, your ovaries will go into overdrive because you'll be like, oh my God, like this person looks so amazing holding a child, you know, it's going to be really attractive here. Um, we also have the Hierophant here. So this can be a destined Taurus coming up for some of you. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, maybe. Um, the Hierophant can speak of someone who's got a high status in their life. So this is someone who's quite successful or maybe earns a lot of money or is in a very, very prestigious role. Uh, so they've built something up and it's almost like people look up to them. So they may have people reporting to them. Um, it could be that this person has an elite status. Marriage comes up around the Hierophant here as well. So I'm wondering if this person has been married before or may even be separating from someone when you connect. I also feel like they could be a homeowner. Um, it's Venus energy and Venus is all about things that are beautiful. So it's either like this person likes the finer things in life. They like luxury. They like going out, eating nice food, cooking, um, nice music, culture. And that's that's going to be very attractive for you. You're going to be sucked into that because you like that. Um, but what was I saying? Um, yes, it's all about beautiful things. So this person could also have very beautiful features. You know, Venus energy could be like they're very feminine or they're very masculine and people notice them anywhere they go, but they're only going to have eyes for you and you're going to be super, super happy. And when you guys go out together, like you'll be holding hands and people will be like, oh, you're such an Insta couple. You know, they may ask you, when's the wedding? Like they'll just see that you're, you guys are so into each other. Um, that's actually happened to me before, but it's so sweet. Like when people notice, notice love and they notice your attraction and your chemistry and it's like visible from the outside, it's almost like reassurance, right? Um, and it, it's, it's a really positive reassurance to the relationship. Um, okay. But money, money is important to this person and they want to be the provider as well. They want to step into that role, which I think you'll also really appreciate. The next card over is temperance. So this is Sagittarius energy. So you may be um, connecting with a destined Sagittarius here. Um, notice these two cups here. So this is some twin flame soulmate energy creeping up in this reading, which I love because it's almost pointing to that this person is coming into your life at a time when you need them the most or when they need you the most. And it's almost like you're going to bring peace to each other. Now, this person's very fun loving. So they like adventure. They like to be spontaneous. They may get up in the morning and, you know, have a few cups of coffee and then they're like crazy and, you know, um, 
energetic and you know you're really going to bounce off each other um in that way um but also with the temperance card it's like there's a peace that they're going to bring into your life there's a peaceful kind of energy about them now they could be very kind and generous the angel would indicate they may they may be a really good communicator and that's what we need air signs you know we can't be with a person who doesn't communicate with us because we need to talk about it okay we need to talk about feelings like um let's talk about feelings let's let's you know i want to talk about how i feel about this or how do you feel about that because that's how we connect and you know it's just in our nature and this person's going to open up to you and you're really going to appreciate that they're going to tell you what's on their mind what they're thinking what they're planning uh, and i feel like you're going to have great banter together so it could be a sense of humor it could be that they're very witty they're sarcastic so just like you can dish it out they can give it back to you but it's sort of like a sort of like a sexy bit of sarcasm here so i think that's i think that's very exciting um especially for the gems out there you're going to really appreciate that um so okay let's jump to the next card with the ace of pentacles for some of you it's a new person you may even be meeting through work um it is strong earth energy here that's coming up so taurus capi virgo but you may be connecting with this person through money somehow so a work a volunteer position um maybe someone wants to introduce you and it's like someone that you work with wants you wants to introduce you to them maybe um so yeah that's how that's how you're going to connect here uh but there is a newness that comes with the ace of pentacles or it's also like this person is um bringing a new chapter into your life so they may introduce you to like a new social circle they may introduce you to a new hobby they may like be doing like a startup or something new and then they have an influence on you in that aspect somehow so they could impact your professional your creative career or you may meet through those avenues um, here as well but it's the hand of god so i feel like again reinforcement that destiny is at play um reinforcement that you belong together you belong with this person that spirit is sort of guiding you to them and i feel for a lot of you there's potential here to, for you to settle down with this person and whatever that means to you whether it's just being together living together you know coming home to each other traveling um, whether it means remarriage whether it means um, having kids or having more kids whatever it means to you it's something that they'll be wanting to offer you so that's very exciting um again it could indicate that they are money-minded uh, but it could also indicate that they're in a position of wealth so they could come from money okay old money new money whether they're an entrepreneur or whether they've inherited money they're, they're comfortable in their position all right they may not be a millionaire but they're comfortable and financially responsible so someone that can be responsible in that aspect you're going to feel more safe um, around them is what i'm seeing the nine of wands is coming up so i feel like this person may have their guard up at times um especially if they're coming from a number nine here too so if they've if they're coming out of a relationship that they've ended or that was ended by the person they were with, then they're going to have their guard up. Uh, they're going to have their guard up. So you may notice it may take them a bit of time to sort of get back into the swing of things, fall in love again, put those walls down. But eventually they will do that. Um, I just feel like with the nine of ones, they can be very possessive or protective over you. So you know they could always have their hands all over you, you know, showing everyone that you belong to them but you know we like that we like they could you know look for our hand and, and grab our hands or um sit with us and dinner at dinner and just be proud to be with us and show us off um and be protective you know we like when we can see traces of jealousy obviously not the abusive kind of jealousy because that's unhealthy but like the little things that are like you know when they get a little bit angry a little bit pissed off because someone's showing you attention you know it's sort of like oh okay you know that's my man, you know, he's, he's, or she, she's, she's being possessive over me. So, um, it could be a little bit of like that protective slash possessive energy. Um, hopefully it's not in the unhealthy way, but they may have a bit of a jealous streak. Uh, okay. That you may, uh, notice. The three of cups, um, is also here. So I feel like this person, they're quite a social person, bit of a social butterfly. Um, I don't think it's like, they have these hundreds and hundreds of friends. I do feel like they have more intimate 
uh, a more intimate social circle of the people that they know and trust and possibly the people that they've grown up with or they went to school with. It could be that they're social in that regard. Um, it could be that they're also like good with people, like they connect very easily or they can be friends with people from all walks of life and they can connect um, and, you know, have a chat to people of high status and, and people of middle class, like they're, they're non-judgmental in that way. Um, for some of you, it could be that this person is right now orbiting you as a friend, like maybe you're connected on social media or maybe you knew them from school and you were friends, like there could be like a friendship basis here, uh, but it could be that you could connect through group events, like group group birthdays, a group setting, a class, a hobby of some kind. It's like people are connecting you to this person somehow um, with that three of cups. This person could also work with people like events, customer service, client engagement. They could be in sales. They're, they've got the gift of the gab, so they're good at speaking. They're good at connecting with people and engaging with people, maybe online uh, or in person. And that somehow works to their advantage either. And you'll see that in their personality or you'll you'll sort of see what they do for work. And it's going to make sense because they're one way. And, uh, and you'll see that. Uh, you'll see how that works to their advantage, I feel, with that, um, with that three of uh, cups. The next card is the High Priestess here. So strong like motherly intuitive energy so this is um this is children okay now children came up a couple of times so i wonder if this person may work with children have children or want children again unplanned pregnancies but i feel like with the high priestess it can speak of a divine masculine divine feminine connection uh, i also feel like this person may be psychic or have intuitive abilities whether they're aware of them or not Okay, some of them, like, they know, they can tap into this energy. Again, it could speak of that empath energy I've mentioned with the moon. But I also feel like on some level they could have an interest in, like, spirituality. In this kind of engagement stuff. They could really enjoy um, that th those sorts of side of things, I feel, with that... Um, with the high priestess here. It can also speak of someone who is very religious um, and they have... They have a super, super strong faith. Now, the religions that um, came up are the Abrahamic religions in the High Priestess. So you have, um, they could be of uh, Christian, Jewish, or um, Muslim background, uh, okay? But strong, like, faith. I mean, maybe it's just more spiritual, uh, but I feel like that's coming up around them. could also be like they write something important their words or their written words is very important somehow um, as well influential is is what I'm getting okay last card we've got the justice card so this is a destined Libra um, that may be coming in for some of you uh, so this is someone who could wor work in law enforcement they could work for the government they could work in policing criminology um, anything that sort of mediates society um, maybe in like a helper's position they could do some volunteering on the side um, but i feel like they're at fair okay this is equality so i feel like this is person this is a person built on fairness and equality uh, and i also feel like it's give and take to them balance is very important for this person so they could have a very balanced life or like they place emphasis on that like they need to do a bit of everything they need to work out they need to work they need to have time for hobbies they need to have time for friends it's sort of like they delegate I mean, it could be in a way that they're quite regimented rather that rather than like completely just spontaneous. But I don't get that they're lazy or anything. Um, I feel like they're, they're fair, but I feel like it's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful love energy. Libra is the partnership card. So I love that that's um, come up in the reading. Um, lots of blues here. So this person could have light eyes, light features. Um, they could also be quite tall. Um, you can see those towers, uh, those columns and the tower here, so, and, and the towers here. So it could be someone who towers over you um, and, and is quite slender. Um, they could also have rounder features here. Notice the spheres, so like a rounder jaw, very wide, uh, round eyes, light eyes, um, round cheeks. So uh, they could be around your age, um, your age or possibly a little bit older 
older, the wisdom of the Hierophant, I feel, is coming up. So possibly a little bit older um, than you. But um, I will leave it at that air sign. So I do hope this reading has been helpful. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Um, feel free to reach out if you were after a private reading. Otherwise, thanks again, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Much love and bye for now.